Debussy said that in music, there was nothing that compared with the power of the right chord at the right time. The emotional impact of Debussy's radical innovations in harmony is at the very center of his sound world. The major piano works from 1905 to 1907 were the two books of Image, Debussy's most sophisticated works for solo piano up to that point. Here is the beginning of the first piece in Image Book One, Reflet dans l'eau, or in English, Reflections in the Water. This wonderful sound image suggests a stone or a leaf falling into the water and the waves that ripple outward. Listen to the amazing sound of the chords in the passage that follows. We hear an incredible variety of sound color that suggests the harmonic vocabulary of jazz. I love playing this passage. There's something so satisfying, it, and the tactile part of it, too. I think any jazzer that heard this piece being practiced or played would say, I recognize that idiom. I'm totally familiar with it. The brilliant arpeggios at the climax remind us of the virtuosic piano idiom Debussy had developed many years earlier in his fantasy for piano and orchestra, 1890. This passage also suggests the powerful orchestration we hear in Debussy's greatest orchestral work, La Mer, or The Sea, completed in 1905, the same year as the first book of Image for Piano. At the end of this piece, we hear Debussy's genius for creating what we might call the temperature of the harmonies. Listen to the warmth of the A major arpeggio, the icy cold C minor arpeggio that follows, and the even warmer A flat ninth chord that takes us to a new version of the beginning of the piece. The ending of the piece suggests water that's progressively turning colder. We can imagine ice crystals forming. We hear the A-flat, F, E-flat motive in the high treble like the delicate sound 
of a harp. Debussy was dissatisfied with an earlier version of this piece. He wrote to his friend and publisher, Jacques Durand, the piece didn't satisfy me, so I decided to write another based on different ideas and in accordance with the latest discoveries of harmonic chemistry. Of course, Debussy is talking about his own laboratory here. If we wish to be great Debussy interpreters, we must always be listening to the sound color of the chords, the power and the beauty of the harmony. 